this woman describing how she was able to fight off a man who attacked her just as she was walking in her own neighborhood. 10 News at 5 o'clock with Steve Atkinson and Lindsay Pena starts right now. Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. I was kind of stunned and I just kind of laid there for a minute. A grandmother reliving the horrific moment she was attacked by a complete stranger while out for a walk. It happened Monday night in Santee. And that woman says the man knocked her to the ground and then tried to cut off her shorts. She spoke only to our 10 News reporter Jessica Chen. And Jessica, the woman says she's so shaken up she can't even go back home. That's right, she is not staying at home tonight. Well, the attack happened right under this overpass on Cottonwood and Prospect, just minutes from our home. If you look down, bloodstains are still on the ground. Tina says she thinks the attacker used some sort of sharp object like a pair of box cutters or a knife to try to cut off her clothes. It's not easy for Tina Castle to talk about. I'm terrified. Uh, her daughter standing with her under the overpass where the attack happened. Get away, get away, get away. It was Monday night. Tina says a man grabbed her from behind and pushed her to the ground. The wind knocked out of me and it's really, really fast. She says the guy held her head down. She felt his other hand trying to rip off her shorts. Started trying to cut my shorts off. The sharp object also cutting her skin, leaving marks and bruises all around her thighs and legs. I was bleeding from multiple places. Tina says she knew she just had seconds to escape. Um, I couldn't get him off of me. I couldn't think of what to do, so I urinated myself and peed on him, and he got freaked out and ran. Tina says that split second decision saving her life. This all happened just minutes from her home. Tina says she's just lucky she was able to get away. Now, Tina says she was on her phone. She had her earphones plugged in, but she says she won't be walking while distracted again. Sheriff's deputies say they are still looking for this man. In Santee, Jessica Chen, 10 News. Some breaking news now. Swap